I don't know if you've heard this story before. You probably have. I've told it many times, I know. Uh, Floyd and Shirley probably, uh, and Orb used to tell this story all the time, but uh, our church was told early on that we weren't gonna make it. Once we were founded and the United Church of Christ shifted, instead of being an evangelical and reformed church, we joined the United Church of Christ and a big wig from out in, uh, in the West came and met with members of our board and said, you know, there's already a UCC church in town. And ENR, Evangelical and Reformed Heritage Church, just isn't gonna make it out West. And Orp Christopher said, did you bring a hat? And gave him his hat and showed him to the door and possibly said, don't let the door hit you on the way out. It depends who tells the story. It got more colorful the more times Orp told it to me. But regardless, what happened next is what's really inspiring to me. And that's that the board didn't sit down and feel discouraged. They didn't sit down and say, wow, now we don't have any funding from the United Church of Christ for our church that's brand new, that's been depending on funding from the wider church to survive. What are we going to do? And they put their minds and their hearts and their treasure and their talent into the mix and said, we're going to make this work. We're at another one of those pivotal moments where we have the opportunity to say yes and dig in emotionally and spiritually and invest in our future and say, I'm not giving up. I'm digging in and we're going to make this work because it matters to me. We're going to have to rebuild our church, renew our church, restore our church as we go through the next year and into the post-pandemic era. My invitation to us this week is simply to remember our roots, remember our DNA, remember that we have been through hard times in our lives, individually and as a church. We are survivors. We are people who commit because we believe in the mission and the ministry of this church. We're people who follow Christ, who asks us to do very difficult things in the name of peace and justice and love sometimes. That inner strength is a part of who we are. And we have what it takes to get through this. So let's remember that. Let's remember our roots this week. Let's remember our heritage. And also remember that we're not in this alone that we have a wide net of connections to the regional and national settings of the church who are there to lift us up and help us through this time. And if none of that's inspiring, just remember that God created cute dogs and cats and beautiful flowers and open skies and miracles in everyday living. Let's look for those and remember that God is good and that God is with us now and in every moment.